when I am done at the scene, I won't leave anything. You won't even know who was involved. Don't let me do it, cause I overdo it and do it till I cannot do it no more. All that the Dallas, I'm proving them wrong. Back with the classic, I know. You gotta choose. You like the top, or you just like to lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. You like the top, or you just like to lose. Make a move. Then at the bottom, I got the proof. You gotta choose. Yeah, I jump out the booth. Then I might hop through the roof. Count on the rings. My team is the truth. But they some lies to you. And they never say. Welcome to your franchise staff. Here you find the right coaches to hire for your staff and upgrade them to help improve your team both on and off the field. Staff points can be when you have to see some talent trees make you select a path to make a choice. I need a hundred pack for my boys. These be hating and talking and talking and hating. I bet you I kill the noise. I've been a man like I pay and I boost up my rating. You know how I play with toys. Pop out on any occasion, get standing ovations. They can't help it but rejoice. They all want to follow me. Cause I got my foot on the opposition neck and ain't no apologies. Honey, y'all, you know I own all the property. Daddy's home, you know I own all the property. You gotta choose. You like the top or you just like the loose. Sleeping again, say it no more. This is a rude awakening, kicking the door. Back and I'm better than ever before. Don't get a mistake and I'm ready for war. I see the ice and I'm up in the score. I catch a b and jump in the course. Follow the core and the back to the morgue. Take the sheet off and I do some more. When I am done at the scene, I won't leave anything. You won't even know who was involved. Don't let me do it, cause I overdo it and do it till I cannot do it no more. All that the data's I'm proving them wrong. Back with the classic, I know it's been long. Had it was missing me while I was gone. I smell the victory back up on time and it's where I belong. Back in they me, we make it history. Fall through the misery, weather the storm. Can't let them get to me, no weapon form. Surprise, my arm be all over my vibes. The pen got options. I keep it right on the dress. And next to the eyes, still applying pressure. Somebody stop us. Applying pressure, somebody stop us. Running my class, go need a doctor, go need a doctor, go need a what? I just came back for the win. Lot of no money in my head. Go on, tell a friend, tell a friend. They say success is the best revenge. I just came back for the win. Lot of no money in my head. Go on, tell a friend, tell a friend. They say success is the best revenge. Today, from MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, it's week three of the NFL on EA Sports. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, 
it's week three, and we've got a good one in store between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New York Jets. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. It's an early test here after two losses to start the season and a game they probably really need. Obviously, no way do they want to get to 0-3. Not many teams make the playoffs with that kind of a start. Braxton Berrios now from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. We'll get our first look at this New York Jets offense really retooled the last couple of seasons and at the helm under center second overall pick from 2021 out of BYU Zach Wilson and I saw that he had an interesting quote in the research packet that we had after last week's game it's all on me now I've got to lead my team and find a way for us to win a game 0-2 but they're at home I guess he's gonna try and find a way to get the home crowd involved early and he'll get this just across the 25-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Wilson. Got an open man. That's C.J. Uzama. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll leave him with a third and two. Now Wilson. And he finds Corey Davis. And he is going to have a Jets first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten right at the 40. Forced out to his left. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. First and 10, it's Hall. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. The Jets had 0-2 here to begin the season. And listen, they made their share of mistakes in these first two games, CD, but you know, talking with them in the days leading up to this one, doesn't seem like they've lost any confidence. I would agree with that. And what they told us was that they weren't planning on making any drastic changes. They didn't see the need to shake things up. They were going to continue to plow ahead. They thought they had the right guys on the team and in the locker room. But they do have to start winning some games. And this one nearly intercepted. Oh, that's a ball he thinks he should have had. Instead, maybe a chance for the offense to get three out of it after all. Fourth down. And coming in. This could be a first down. So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. All again on second down. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Jets. Brees Hall with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Jets will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Certainly it connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. 
And the Bengals getting set for their first possession of the ball game and leading them out in his third season. Really the face of Cincinnati football, Joe Burrow. And he's had good success here already this season throwing the football. Six touchdown passes in his two games. He's really got this offense playing with a lot of confidence, trying to establish themselves early as a Super Bowl contender. When the Bengals with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That one taken in by T. Higgins. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it'll be second down. A first carry for the former Oklahoma Sooner, Joe Mixon. And he's got a Bengals first down as he's able to get this up to the 37-yard line. Back to Mixon on first down. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. First down, here's Burrow. Open man is Higgins. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. First down there for T. Higgins. Don't let it be lost in Jamar Chase's phenomenal season. The Higgins had a big year for Cincinnati as well. Topped the 1,000-yard plateau for the first time, and he did it despite missing a few games with injuries. The third-year man could give Cincy a pair of pro bowlers into position here in 2022. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. And that's caught one more time by Boyd for second down. And Burrow going to throw again. And out of his hands quickly to Higgins. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. They'll give it to Mixon. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Second and goal from inside the five. Mixon again. They give him two yards officially, and now it'll be third and goal. Mixon is in. Touchdown, Bengals. So the second down run didn't work. They run it again on third down and get in. I wasn't sure if they might pass it, Charles. We know that they like to mix it up down here around the goal line. Yeah, almost felt like the offensive line said, forget mixing it up. Let's call our favorite running play over our best blockers, and let's get this one in. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Barrio is going to bring this out of the end zone. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Some good games coming up here in week three. The first weekend of fall from Denver. 49er fans are probably saying, wait, I thought we were done with Russell Wilson. No, they'll see him tonight. And then on Monday night, Cowboys and Giants from MetLife Stadium kicking off at 8.15 Eastern. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Play action. Now Wilson. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A first down there on a pickup of 25. But well, one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. Play action. It's Wilson. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. From the shotgun, Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. 
The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Fourth down, here's Wilson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Jets try, and the Bengals will get the football back. The Bengals drive about to get going. Burrow on play action. Man open, that's Jamar Chase complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. His throw incomplete. Now the Bengals had the remarkable run to the Super Bowl last year, but one team that gave them trouble were these New York Jets. You might remember back in Week 8, it was the Jets rallying behind backup Mike White, who threw for 405 yards and three touchdowns in a 34-31 New York victory over the Bengals. Throwing again, it's Burrow. And this one is incomplete. I know you probably saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. Now a throw here to his running back. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The Jets will bring it a nickel set as they try to stop this third down. The screen here to Mixon. And they needed two. They could only get one. Fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. McPherson's kick is good, and they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. On first and ten, it's Wilson. That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. And a high throw there as this is knocked to completions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Wilson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give him credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks. And see oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked off by Von Bell, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And we will skip the highlight show this week, get right back to this week three matchup. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. So here are the Bengals set to take over. They're trying to get back on track. They had the loss last week to the Dallas Cowboys. The good news, they've got the lead right now. They will throw on first down with Burrow. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. 
Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And not a whole lot there, maybe a yard to the 27. Well, that's a good start to this drive. First down, then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in an expected passing situation. He's got a man complete. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. T. Higgins, his second touchdown on the season. And the Bengals come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Barrios now from his end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Jets offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They go play action now. Wilson. This pass complete. He finds Jeremy Rucker. 10 at the 44-yard line. Steps away. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. On first down, right back to Hall. Might have gotten this one down to the 28, and that's all. On second and nine, Wilson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. On third down, Wilson. That is caught. It's Uzama. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Wilson. That's a screen play here for Carter. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Second down and goal. Wilson. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Elijah Moore. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have got it back to within a score. Zerline good with a PAT. And the lead's down to... Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. Still enjoying the lead here in the third quarter despite their defense giving up that last touchdown. Now they'll see if they can get the equalizer here on this drive. But the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. Quinnen Williams. Give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. To try again after the sack. Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. The Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He punted four times in the loss last week as he gets this one away here. Here's Barrios. 
Nice punt, but good work on the return to get back 11 yards. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from... Oh, well, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. Picked by Logan Wilson, and the Bengals are going to take over a couple of yards shy of midfield. Burrow going to lead up the Bengals here first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Just a gain of a couple there. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Burrow. Pass thrown right back to Joe Mixon. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he is going to have a Bengals first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Mixon with a first down carry. Takes this to the 32, maybe the 31, and then the defense rallying quickly after that broken tackle. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Once again, they run with Mixon. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, he finds Higgins. And the Bengals are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. His pass caught at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Hey, let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left, but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try again, and he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Joe Mixon, his second rushing touchdown on the year, and the Bengals are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. A good drive and the touchdown run coming from Joe Mixon. Berrios going to bring this out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, that last touchdown we just saw, what an important one. Now it's back to a two-score deficit for this crew as they take the field here, and they are in desperate need of finding the end zone. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Here's Wilson. Dancing to his left. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. The Jets on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shots. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Daxton Hill picks it off. Boy, so another interception, CD. Uh, it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now 
his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking. Back to Mixon on second down. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Now a signal and a timeout here on the defensive side of the ball. So they want to stop it with one second to go prior to the two-minute warning. Again, it's Mixon. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. On second down, here's Mixon. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. McPherson's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the four. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still... And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there downfield to break that one up. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Throwing is Wilson. And that will be incomplete as well. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Cheetah Bay Awuzie with a pick. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for a Bengals TD. Little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. You have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it will make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. And yeah, they turned the pick six into a pick eight with that two. It's outstanding right there. What a big-time play. Big switch in how this game was going, and then they capitalize a little bit on top. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Berrios now from his end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Jets. It's been a back-and-forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Well, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming, and that often is the case when it comes in special teams. And this is going to be snuffed out. The Bengals recover. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. The Jets going to go ahead and use their final timeout as it comes with a minute four left to go in the game. The Bengals go down to a knee in the victory formation. And with a third and...
and 13 here. The defense in a dime look. Burrow down to a knee, and that should be the final act of this one. So would that mean three weeks in the books and they creep above 500 now at two and one? You know, I played with a guy once after taking a knee at the end of the game, and he came in and grabbed the equipment manager and said, make sure you wash that spot, you know, special, because I just took a <laughs> knee for a win. That tells you how much guys enjoy that, because getting a win, no one takes it for granted. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Bengals, they get back in the win column as they move to two and one now on the year. And they'll return home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0 and 3. And they And I keep getting stronger. My limits disguisable, impossible. Shine if I want to. I win every time if I want to. The world mine if I want to. Make the world mine cause I want to. Hey, I pull the sword out the border, walk a floor full of cobras. Go to war with you all, we can brawl toe to toe. I can tighten loops in my lace and make lightning lose in a race. I make fire cool and I come back from the triangle and from you to, I can suit up, live in the moon up, working in Yeah, I did it, but it ain't just me, it's the whole team, share with